Rings. It's a UFC lightweight division bout. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Khabib Nurmagomedov, he's the guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is going to look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Sunderland, England, Assassin. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure a takedown. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space, the striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Take right down there. The take down and he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground. And that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and 
wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Well, how's that for executing the game plan? He told us he needed to get the early takedown, and he produces right out of the shoot. He got it done, man. Takedown for the emphasis in camp, and he got it done. He has to be happy that it worked to perfection. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Falls back into the finishing position. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Just punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite direction. You throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. So we pull up the stats for you now. 32 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's midsection. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, that right hand landed square. Man, he's timed the shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> punch coming. It's blocked. Nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Muay Thai plump. Nice kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. That's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dax. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants ah. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Nice move to punch. Dermago Medov gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. And they separate. Gomedov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Elbow to the head in the clinch. Nice work there by Nurmagomedov. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. And he comes through with a big knee. Yep. <laughs> what a round. Hey, stop. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. Keep your hands up. Keep moving your head. Keep moving your feet. Cut those angles. And let's just... All right, there's the end of the round. And you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it. You've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. 
collar tie. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Huge knee lands from the Titans. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Yermago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Right hook to the body. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Caught that kick there. Look at him whip his hip to that kick. That knee might have landed there. Oh, man, how is he standing after he ate that knee? He has absorbed so many of them in this round, and now you can visibly see some of the damage that has been inflicted by his opponent. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. That knee might have landed there. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. I know Javier Mendez is sad. that he likes to go southpaw times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's a very good striker. And as he gets more comfortable in the octagon, he will continue to show. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big call punch man. Now he gets back to range. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, the collar tie here. And they separate. Visibly limping here. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on the well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big kick lands. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nurmago Medovs has got full mount now. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. He's attacking on bar now. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. You got to check these low leg kicks. Great punch. Roundhouse kick and it lands. It lands, and even if you think you're blocking it, it really is still having an effect on your. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now, 
That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, the action continues here and now as our Great next fight. round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice straight punch. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Big knee, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And that one was heavy. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Gotta think his opponent's gonna feel that one anymore. And he's gonna continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He got a very bad mistake here. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Just over three minutes to go in round three. All right, side control now. Oh, is he an active pursuer of the submission? Trouble here. Wow. Now it's his mouth. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. And he landed the right hand there. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, making 151 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Just below 50%, by the way, 49% the accuracy rate on the strike attempts against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Good stick. Single collar tie now. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit.
jab for him there again. We keep talking about this reach advantage, but he is certainly making good use of it in this oh, matchup. There Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That's a big strike right there. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the buck. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. Block. He gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And they separate. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Oh, big punch land. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about... His opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just Oh! Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines going to stop in this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight he got that done and he should be very